If you want to have yourself the perfect Texas day, step one, get up early enough to watch a beautiful Texas sunrise. Step two, go to Mary's Tacos in Bernie, Texas. Get you a nice cup of coffee and you need to get you their bacon, egg, cheese, and potato. Throw yourself some sauce on that thing. <laughs> Magical. And step three, make sure that you are staying at the Desperado Resort. I guarantee, personally guarantee, that it will set you up for the best Texas day you've ever had. Mm. Hi. Welcome to Off the Ranch. My name is Matt Carricker. I like long walks on the beach. I like sunrises. Holy freaking cow. I like sunsets even more. And I also like abandoned pieces of junk. And I got one. This is my abandoned resort. So it was operating as a resort and a, a successful one from what I've read uh, in the 80s and 90s. It's situated in Texas Hill Country right in the middle, kind of north of San Antonio. It is 330 acres, and it was shut down in the early 2000s. I think it just wasn't doing well. It was kind of getting old, and they weren't putting the effort into fixing it back up, and so they closed it down, and it has been totally shut down, abandoned for 20 years. No one's done anything. The houses are falling apart, rotting, as you've seen if you've been watching this series, and it was just terrible. Till I came in, and now it's great. Look. <laughs> Look how, look how great it is. Well, look at the sunrise. <laughs> yep, that's still got it. So we've been making these abandoned resort episodes for a bit now, and they're doing really good, getting lots of views. But one comment that I keep seeing pop up is, Matt, can you give us like a map of the property? Because we're confused on like where everything is. And that is a good point. It's super hard to show y'all the property because it's 330 acres. It's huge. And so, with the Abandoned Mansion series, it's all one building. Like, it was pretty easy. Y'all didn't really necessarily want to know the layouts of the rooms, but you understood, like, we're working on the kitchen today. We're working on the garage today. This one, I'm like, here's a building that you didn't even know existed, and you have no idea where it is or how it ties into the rest of the resort. So, this video is going to be not a renovating an abandoned resort video, per se. I'm going to try to just give you the lay of the land. I'm gonna try to show you where everything is. And this is a video you can kind of refer back to, I think, so that the next time we're working on Quail Canyon Lodge, the next time we're working on the apartment buildings or the bluff buildings or the cabins over there, you guys will know kind of where we are. I never really thought I would need to show you where these things are, but I get it because it makes sense in my mind when I'm talking about it because I know where it is and you guys are like, where did, where did this building, how did it get over, why? And so, today, I'm gonna try to fill in some blanks for you. But first, I'm gonna fill in the blank spot in my stomach with these other two tacos while I check out this sunrise next to this someday beautiful again building um, overlooking this beautiful bluff down to the river. Uh, this is where you guys will eat breakfast someday. It's gonna be awesome. All right, I'll be. I'll be back when I'm full. I'm using my drone. This is, uh, it's a Mavic 3 Pro Cine. And I got it from Multicopter Warehouse and it is freaking spectacular drone. I'm gonna leave a link to Multicopter Warehouse in the description below. Um, I love this thing and it makes everything so much better. So first we're gonna start off with like a far off view of the resort from the very southernmost point of it. So this shows most of my property. There's a couple of my borders that extend past it, a couple of other people's borders that extend into it, but this is most of the resort. Well, the easiest thing to see right now is that huge square in the bottom. That is what we carved out for our first gun range. Um, we haven't done anything else because I realized we need to work on the road just to make it less bumpy so a dump truck can get in there. And the reason we wanted to put the gun range over there is because, especially in this early morning sun, you can really see the two valleys that kind of make a triangle around it. So those valleys don't look that big on this drone shot, but they are huge. Like you, 
I've never been to the bottom of them because it looks like so much work to go all the way down there and then walk all the way up. I want to someday, I want to put hiking trails through it, but like right now it's climbing through brush straight down. So you can see it is just totally lined by these huge valleys, which would be a really good separation from the gun range and the people who are just going to the resort to hang out. It's really far away. It's, you know, tons of forest in between and then huge valleys that actually demarcate the whole area back there. It's probably like a hundred acres back there that will be all used for demolition ranch type stuff, which is gonna be pretty epic. Over on the middle left of the screen is where you actually enter the property. That's our big gate that currently says the old name, the Guadalupe River Ranch uh, Resort. But that's where the gate is. You can see a big long flat road coming in right there. And then it goes down and makes an almost 90 degree turn to the left and then heads up that long road that's going straight up the top part of our map right there, which gets to the heart of the resort. Now I'm just gonna fly kind of close to the resort because all that stuff in the bottom is, uh, it's just trees. It's really nothing you need to like know where anything is. So I'm gonna get into the, the heart of the resort here. You can see that kind of clearing in the middle. That's where they have cleared. That's where they used to do all their activities up on the resort. Down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see there are a couple houses down there. Those are actually just guest houses. Uh, not guest houses, but like long-term tenant houses. So people live in those houses right now. Um, they pay me rent. So we have, we have tenants, which was good because this property sort of, you know, has some income already even before uh, you know, we have an actual resort opens. It's, it's not enough to offset the cost, uh, <laughs> not at all. Um, paying more in way more, like 10 times more in mortgage than the rent is making me, but it's nice to have something. So um, that's all that that is down there. Then as you go a little further into the resort, you may notice that there is a pond now. We have a freaking pond at this resort. Next up, there's a little building next to the pond. Uh, that is the chicken coop, which a uh, raccoon or fox or something got into and murdered everything. <laughs> They're all dead now. And then up to the right of that is the uh, horse barn, just a pole barn. Pretty simple, got a tack room and um, it's totally usable. We'll probably just keep it. Not the greatest to look at, but not bad. And it looks like it is still structurally very sound because it's all metal. The next building you come across on the very left side is Quail Canyon Lodge, which we have ripped both ends of the building off because they were trash, keeping the center. And I think this is where we're gonna do our event center. So we're gonna try to turn this into a really cool spot for weddings, for business meetings, for quinceaneras, whatever people wanna do out here, we wanna have a big ballroom type building for that. And I think that's one of the buildings I want to get started on really soon. I want to make it freaking epic. I want to make it so cool looking from the outside. Plus, it's the it's really the first big building you see when you come into the property. You see that building. And then kind of up and to the left, uh, really close to Quail Canyon Lodge, is the Governor's Palace, or where it used to be. As you can see, we wiped it off the face of the earth. And then we're gonna get into the main part of the resort. So you go past a little stone wall and a cattle guard and you are into the heart of the resort. You're greeted first by what we fondly refer to as the Purple Door House, which is a weird little cabin that's gross and you find lots of bugs, sometimes raccoons. And just to the right when you come in through the gate is the tennis courts, basketball court, um, and then right past that is actually a sand volleyball court that is totally got grass all grown in, but when you dig down, it's all sand down there. So this is kind of the kid hangout area. Um, just past that, there's a grassy area, which I wanna put like soccer fields up. So people can throw a football, throw a baseball, go shoot some hoops, go play volleyball. This is like where the kids can run free and just be kids and have fun while the parents are just being parents at the bar. To the far right, you'll see a bunch of little buildings. There's six small ones and then there's one double-decker. So one two-story cabin over there. They have the potential to be really nice, but we're probably not gonna start on them right now. They're kind of out of the way, so we could actually just leave those for now, focus on the stuff that is in the way, because, you know, like we don't want people to have this nice cabin over in the corner, but they have to walk through all the junk to get there. So we're gonna get all the junk cleaned up first. That's my goal anyway. And then the outskirt buildings can happen later because people won't be going through those while they're dilapidated or while they're under construction. If you go a little bit past those, kind of a little more 
high right, uh, that's where we have uh, one of the pools, the second pool, and there is a little pool house next to it. The pool house is pretty much trash. We need to bulldoze that whole pool house, but I think the pool is salvageable, which is really cool uh, because pools are very expensive to build. So Meredith and I were talking about putting in like a better pool, but I think we might just put in like a third pool or something and leave these two pools. Like you can have a kid pool, an adult pool or whatever. All the boys just got here. We have them today with a wood chipper. We've been trimming all the trees along the main drag to get in here because we want it to look nice and that's a, a really easy way to like make it more appealing like instantly. It's one of the first things people see. And it's one of the things we can do now. Like there's a lot of stuff that we need like planning for before we start ripping up buildings and replacing stuff. But like trees, we know what they need to look like. So trim them all up, get all the, the low branches pulled up and make the canopies high. Plus you can see uh, our old V10 Ford F250 doing work over there. That was just a truck that we found on the property. No title, didn't run. We had to replace fuel pump, put all new fuel in it, fuel filter, new battery, and then it worked. Just a solid work truck. I'm, I can't ever sell it. It's not worth any money because I don't have a title for it. And we're never gonna drive it on the roads. Uh, we had to do a little welding on the suspension and the, the drive line because it was cracked in half. But now it's great. It's just drags around the wood chipper. We drag around trailers with it. It's a perfect on ranch truck, which on a 330 acre property, you need something like that. I don't think we ever named that truck either. That truck needs a name also. A little bit past the pool and the pool house, there's a couple pavilions. One was just sort of for eating, although I do have pictures of like a band playing under there too, like a small band. And then there's another one that's like the barbecue pavilion where like the grill guys, the cooks would all be like making the food for everybody. And then there's the stone fireplace back behind that, which is super cool and little stone patio back there. It's pretty epic and I can't wait to get that space all like turn back into something beautiful again. I'm gonna work our way back now. So right when you come in through the gate, past the purple door house, there's that big building to the left. That was their admin building. That was where they did laundry. That was where their maintenance shed was. You can see that big garage door on it. But then right under that, there were two more maintenance buildings. Well, one was a maintenance building, like had all their pipes and fittings and electrical and light bulbs and everything like that. And the other was like for storage of golf carts and kayaks. And it was kind of their, their barn for just storing all the, the big things but they were both trash, so we wiped them off the face of the ranch as well. But this big building we're gonna keep because it's actually pretty decent. It's just a big metal building. Um, so we're gonna make it nice. Uh, the back of it needs to be ripped off because it's already ripping itself off. And I think we're gonna make that most of our offices and our admin and there was also a gift shop in there, which I don't know if we're gonna do or not. Not sure about a lot of things yet, but all I know is we're keeping this building and it's gonna be kind of the heart of what makes this place run. It won't really be a place for public probably. It'll just be all of the employees um, will home base out of that building. But that being said, we still need to make it nice because you want the people who are working there to like the place they work. So you don't want it to be a dump. We want the people who are doing the maid service in the rooms to have a nice place where they can go do all their work, but also have a you know break room and everything like that. And all that stuff will be in that building is what I'm thinking right now. A little further in is the most eye-catching of buildings. It is the burn down building. Um, very sad. That was the main building of this resort. That was their lodge, their restaurant. They had a few rooms to stay. They had some meeting rooms in there and it has completely burned down. Luckily it was all rock so like it still looks pretty epic and you can see all those chimneys sticking up. So what I really want to do with this building is I want to redo it of course but I want to leave a lot of that stuff. I'm thinking about making it some sort of restaurant with an outdoor patio that is in between all of those fireplaces and that'll all be like open air no roof just an area to eat on a beautiful day or night have some drinks out there with those fireplaces all still acting as fireplaces but now they're outdoor fireplaces i think it'd be really cool to find a way to keep a lot of that stonework and build a building next to it you know that has your kitchen and indoor dining and stuff but I just think those things look so freaking epic and it would really be a cool kind of ode to the old resort. That's my plan so far. I haven't figured out how to make it work yet. We also have to make it safe. Make sure none of those rocks that were in a super hot fire are gonna be brittle and crumble and fall from 30 feet up and crush a guest. Cause that is less than ideal at a resort. I just put a different ND filter 
on the drone. I dropped it down here and did it. Uh, as the sun comes up and it gets brighter, it helps to put a kind of sunglasses on the drone. I'm learning about all this. Um, I have this super cool drone and it's been taking me a little bit of time to like figure out how to make the pictures the best. And it just makes the colors a lot better and then I'll blown out because it's like, oh, now we've, you know, the sun's been up for a while. It's bright in Texas. To the left of the Burnham building and above the admin building, there are two buildings. One has a metal roof and one has a shingled roof that's kind of also wood roof because it doesn't really have a roof. Those buildings are both probably bulldoze buildings. Um, the one to the right has the wine cellar in it, but it's re there's really nothing usable. You can see the one on the left has no roof. Everything's rotten inside. Like, it hasn't had a roof in 20 years and just, the bones are not good on that one. They're all rotten, so that one just is bulldoze. The one on the right has concrete walls. They're cinder block walls, but every, the, the roof's gone, so like all the wood is bad, the electrical's all bad, it hasn't had a roof. So the only thing good about that one is the cinder block walls, the windows are broken, it's just like, it's not really worth taking everything off of a cinder block wall building. So I think we're just gonna bulldoze both of those so that we have a clean slate to do whatever we want there and make it exactly how it should be. Next up are the bluff buildings. So they're kind of up to the north of those and I've been filming mostly everything from the same angle, kind of the south at the bottom and north at the top. But these I really got to spin around because they're magical from the other side. This side is cool, as you can see. They look like two-story buildings from the front. Once you go to the back, you see that they're both three-story buildings. And they're on the top of this huge bluff that overlooks a pasture. You can see they are three stories. Five units in each of those buildings, ten units total. They have good roofs, so all the bones are good. Uh, but besides that, they need everything. Uh, we're just gonna strip those down to the bones and redo them, but they're totally redoable, and I think they're gonna be some of the best rooms on the place because the view is so good. I really wanna put some other like cabins back in the woods and stuff so you have like your own little spot, and you won't have your own little spot here, but you're gonna have the best view on the entire property. So here I went ahead and zoomed way out on the other side of the property, and so this is the opposite view that you started with at the beginning of this video. Uh, you can see way off in the top of the screen, that little sliver, that's that square where the shooting range will be. So you can see how far away it is from the places where people will be staying. So I, I don't think the gunfire will bother anybody who didn't come to the resort for gunfire, because it's gonna be so far away, there's gonna be uh, forest and valleys and berms in between. So you might hear it a little bit when you're outside, but not much. We're not gonna have anything going at night, so it won't keep anyone from sleeping. I think it won't be a bother at all. Plus, I think a lot of people are gonna come out here wanting to go do that, so it won't be a big deal. But you can see the river down at the bottom. You can see water in it, but it's not. there's not much. It's just trickling through right now. It's so sad. We need some freaking rain in Texas. And then there's this really pretty pasture right there. So those bluff buildings, they go down that bluff. There's a big pasture down there, which is super pretty, always full of axis deer. And then it goes down to the river, and it's freaking awesome. And you can see the resort is all up on that bluff up top. And there's a lot more land that I just didn't show you because it's just land. Uh, I just kind of wanted to give y'all the lay of the land so you can kind of figure out when I'm saying we're, we're over at the cabins today. You know where that is. So hopefully you can look back to this video and kind of figure it all out. I hope you guys place it all in your mind. Uh, and it makes sense. I'm sorry I didn't give that to you. My drone's landing itself. I'm sorry I didn't give that to you sooner. This last building that I'm gonna show you is actually a building you've never seen before. I've never walked you guys in it, but that's gonna change today. This is another building up on the bluff, but it's kind of off to the side and it's a different style. It kind of looks like a house, but it's split up to where it has units inside of it. It's a two-story building and it's got a good roof as well, so the bones are all good. It needs to be totally revamped, but the bones are nice in this building, so it's one we're keeping. Um, it is on the bluff, but doesn't have as good of a view because it has a lot of trees blocking it, so that's something I think we can we can fix. We can do a little trimming and make it look really cool. So I'm excited about this building, but it's kind of off to the side, just like the cabins are, so it's not anything we're focusing on. There's no priority to get there because we can easily block it off and say, this is not open yet, this is under construction, and it won't be in people's way. They won't really see it um, unless you're going to it, but. Let's go check it out a little closer, because you guys have never been in it, and I actually have only been in it a couple times, 
because it's been on the back burner for me as well. I was actually walking over to go to that building and I thought I might as well show y'all this one that we showed earlier and the reason that it is going to be uh, bulldozed. For one, full of goat poop, but not a big deal. We've had lots of buildings that are full of goat poop, but this thing is full. You can see where the beds were. The beds were also covered in goat poop. Um, the floor, you can see straight through to the ground. And that's because water just runs through this. This I'm on the first floor. You can see the ceiling is all bowing. So all of these beams are totally, oh my gosh. <laughs> almost fell through the carpet. Everything is just rotten and falling apart. There's just a big bulge here. They called this the Vista View building. Those other buildings are called Cliff View. I think one's called Bluff View. I can't remember what the other one's called. This one's called Vista View. Do you know what Vista means in Spanish? View. <laughs> this is the View View building. Oh my gosh. This is second floor here. Nope, whole lot of nope. See it all just has been getting soaking wet. All this stuff is, yeah. That's why this building is a, it's a big old nope. All right, I might walk through this one. Okay, you guys wanna see the view out the view view building? It is a nice view. All right, let's go check out that building. That's the one we came to see. Oh, heck yeah, dude. All right, I'm gonna put that toward fixing up something out here on the property. Good to go. I was looking through these to see how old they were. Found some 90s, found a 2001, and then I found a 2010. Uh, you know, that, that penny right there is a 2010, which is years after this thing closed, which means someone came and did this, they left this money after. It's probably Joey. So, thanks Joey, you the man. Thanks Joey. I looked it up on an old map that I have from when this place was operational. They called this the Riverview Cabin versus the Vista View cabin. It's, it's got a little charm, right? It's cool. And so it's actually a mirror image on both sides. Let's go in, uh, let's go in this side first. Stairs are decent. We may just replace them anyway because they're not great. And stairs are something that, make sure there's no wasp up here. Stairs are something you don't want to mess with. Here's the top room. Same thing as the other cabins. They have really cool ceilings on the top floors. Much bigger porches on this cabin. Very cool. Okay, there's actually a pretty good view here. It's pretty epic. So I think if you just trim a couple trees, man, you could make a really cool little area down there for hanging out too, because it's pretty flat. The other ones are really on the bluff, and so it, it goes down really fast. This one is a little more gentle until about that tree right there, and then it goes down. So you could clear this out and have some sitting areas. Be freaking cool. This top unit is a standalone unit. Um, just this one big room. And then you have a big closet, big bathroom with a tub. You can actually see through to the other side. There's a mirror image on the other side for another unit. And luckily we have a hole through the walls. Check it out. But I mean, look at that beautiful roof. That's why this building's so good. Ground level, there's a door there and a door there. They both connect. So these are actually two bedrooms on the ground level. So you can see Got it all down here, one big room, big bathroom again, and it just connects to another bedroom right here. So this is a good one for, you know, if you have bigger kids that you don't want sleeping in your room, you know, you got teenagers or something that want to have their own space, get one of these two room units. And then the other side, pretty sure it's exactly the same. So two units on each side, one is a single room, one is a double room. So on this side, you just walk straight to your room. Bottom floor. Connects over here to the... Connects over here to the exact same mirror image. Oh, that's what's supposed to go there. There's supposed to be a desk in that little spot. Thanks, Joey. Oh, that's right. This unit's special. So this is how you get to the top. So this one has two bedrooms as well. And this one has a huge room up at the peak. Man, someone had a lot of fun ripping out sheetrock in here. Just kicking it. That was, that was pretty fun. Joey was right. So yeah, we're at the peak of the building right now. So you got this little loft room. Pretty cool. And then, dead goat. Nope, 
just the bathroom. And every room has a big porch. Uh, a lot of time back in the day, it was kind of a, a decorative thing to not put a rail on one side. Just a little fun thing, you know? Just like, there's the air of danger. Like, you might die. You probably won't, but you, you might. Why is there a door down there? Why are there shutters down there? Joey, we really need to talk, man. Like, you're really giving me some heartache. I just don't get why they used to make fans like this. Did they really think this was gonna work? There were a lot of unique things they thought of, like, they put little indents in the wall, so this would just, like, fit right in here. Like, the, the builders really thought of everything. Smart. What would be kind of cool is if you didn't have all of the buildings where they had, like, units, like this one did, but maybe you had one building, maybe this one, where you'd run out the whole thing for, like, a group of families, and maybe all the rooms connect. There's, like, a big central living room or something. You know, maybe you go out with three families that you really like, and so each of the adults have their own bedroom, so three different bedrooms for the adults, and then there's a couple more bedrooms where like kids can sleep. Like maybe like the characters rent that bedroom up there, that's their little balcony over there, and you know, McFarlane's, they got that room over there, and that's their balcony. This is the, the Atwood balcony right here. The Sparks family is up there. I mean like, it could work. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of families that would like to do that, like rent a whole building. Oh, see, this must be a more modern fan. They're not like all the way straight out, they're getting there. They started figuring it out eventually. Anyway, let me know if y'all would prefer like single unit or if you would want to come with a group of people and rent out an entire building. Because maybe we build this one to be the group rental. That'd be sick. That's pretty much uh, all the main buildings. There's still a lot of little buildings I didn't show you. Um, a lot of them have people in them, a lot of them just aren't that interesting. But that's all the main buildings, especially the ones we've talked about, and I hope you can kind of get lay of the land now and figure out where everything is. A lot of people have been asking to see the pond, asking an update on how the pond's been going since we've had the, the well on again. And if you watch this far into the video, you get an update. The pond is doing fantastic. It is holding water like a champ. So it just has a total bedrock bottom. It's not like it has rocks on the bottom. It is just a slab of rock. And I think the slab of rock is like, probably four miles thick. So I don't think any water goes through it. Uh, you can see we got the pump still running. Uh, it actually, it's cycling. So I got a kind of like a pump saver on it where it cycles. So it, I think it's actually slowing down. It's gonna turn off in a second. But it just kind of turns off for a while, cools itself down, and it turns back on. So it's not even running full tilt right now. And this thing is filling up. It's kind of gross because I didn't like get any of the plants out of it. So you can see there's just like stuff floating all in here. Yeah, the, pump's, the pump is off right now. It's just what's draining out of the pipe. But man, freaking so good. It's probably, I would say, three to four feet deep in the middle. I need to bring my backhoe over here and just pull all this dirt away from it so it can start growing grass and looking really nice. Eventually, I think we'll rebuild the walls because the walls are all made of rock like this that is cracking. So that, if we're going to have any leaks, that's where it's going to leak. But it's only going to leak down to more bedrock. So it's really, it honestly is holding water super well and it looks so good and I see the sheep in here the sheep have been using it I've seen birds swooping down and getting water like that bird right there the well just turned back on there's dragonflies flying everywhere so I want to put some fish in here have a really cool spot for people to come you know throw a line in and that'll be a really awesome thing for families to come do out here as well plus it just looks awesome so good. And I'm super pumped with how well it's holding water. Addie just texted me to get chicken coop stuff since she has the new chicks at home. She wants like feeders and waters and stuff like that. And she's doing this all her own. She's buying everything herself. So I told her, you gotta buy feeders. She was like, but there's free feeders out at the ranch, right? And I was like, yes. So get her a little waterer. Where's the top for this feeder? Well, that'll work, perfect. Yeah, we good to go. Someone really cared about this place at one point. That's cute. And there used to be chickens in here, as you guys saw, but you know, something came in here. Right through there. And for a few seconds, this place was Armageddon. There was a firefight!
sorry, uh, I got caught up in the moment. Uh, anyway, uh, we might put some chickens in here again eventually. Needs a little shuring up around the bottom, probably. All right, I have everything I need. Peace. You're coming with me.